Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to another hello. episode, well, a new, the first, the beginning of the season of Planet Zoo. I plan hello. on making a series out of this and spending lots of time on it. So this is the zoo I was messing around with just to learn how the game works. We'll create a new zoo. Uh, we'll do a uh, tropical biome. North America, why not? Uh, we'll stick on medium difficulty. Flat, and then we'll do season one. And then we'll go ahead and create it. Alright, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm gonna, hopefully these will be 30 minute episodes, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But uh, I think we'll all have a lot of fun with this, and hope we all enjoy. Alright, so here's our zoo. Here's our starting area, so we can get a path going. Oh, let's make that a little wider. Is that it? Nope, seven meters. Yep, alright, here we go. So we'll just continue out straight a little bit. And then over here, we'll grab a staff path. For those of you that don't know this game too well, staff paths are paths that only your staff can go on. And so then facilities, staff facilities, we're going to need to get all the essentials. We're going to need a animal trade center, a, a keeper hut. We'll put in probably two of those for right now. Uh, we're gonna need a research center, a staff room, probably two staff rooms, a workshop, and then on the other side, we'll put a quarantine building, a research center, a veterinary surgery, and that's pretty much all we need for the basics. We gotta see if we can get these paths to connect, though, otherwise they're not gonna be able to get here. Okay, there we go. There. What are we gonna do here? I think we're gonna have to move this. Cause... This game can be a little weird about, like, when you place things in the past, they can be a little... We got a couple... It's got a little frustrating with these games. So, let's, uh... So, now that we got the staff buildings, we need to get a bunch of people to be our work slaves forever. Just kidding. We get- we pay them. So, we're gonna need a veterinarian. Uh, we're gonna need a mechanic. Oh, let's let's keep it on pause so we don't just lose all of our money immediately. Keeper, a caretaker. So the caretakers will clean. Uh, keepers obviously take care of things. Workers will do building research and fix exhibits. Veterinarians do animal research and, like, just take care of the animals. And then... We're gonna need a security officer. Alright, so now, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go back to paths. Uh, this is gonna be a person path. And we can... I want to... If we just do something like this. We'll put some nice refreshments in here. So what we'll do is we'll go into 
I believe it's facilities, guest facilities, uh, finance, clean stalls. So we'll go get the we'll get the uh, the liquid. We'll get the food. We'll get this. Perfect. And then we need an information center. Where is it? Uh, uh, information. Yes, an information center. Oh, no, there it is. This is the one we want. I like to get the ones that have the better design than just the regular old square box vibe. Uh, that should be everything we need for right now. And if we quickly unpause, yes, they come with workers. So the next thing we need to do is we need to open work zones, add a new work zone. We'll call this work zone Zoo. We're going to use this for people that just work on the entire zoo. And so we'll just put everything in it that we've done so far. And we'll go ahead and enter that. And we'll just close out of that now. And then the staff will just put everyone on zoo. So that we can make sure everyone... Oh yeah, yeah, we want them to all work on those individually. Yes, that's fine. Alright, so now we can quickly unpause the game. People may start arriving. Actually, no, they shouldn't yet until we get an animal. And now, in case you can't tell, we only have $13,000, so we're not... We don't have a ton of money, so... Yeah, all the animals sold on here are, like, live auctions, so it's like... You gotta, like, buy them then and now, so let's figure out something relatively cheap we can afford. And we want males and females so we can, uh, we can get a breeding program. So, doesn't look like we're gonna go to do turtles. Uh, technically we could do some American bison. They need big enclosures, and we're looking for something that doesn't. Uh, mm, no. There's not a lot of good selections, so, right? We could get some lemurs if we wanted to. Wildebeests. Some monkeys. Some ringtangs and stuff. Cheetahs. Even more, God, there's a lot of cheetahs. What else do we have? Okay, there's 12 million. These look fun. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be what we're gonna do. We're gonna do penguins. All right, we'll adopt you and then We'll get you and you. There are a couple more cash ones, but I don't know if these... We'll check the Zoopedia to see how many of them they like to be in. Okay, so they kind of want to be three of each. Okay, so right now we're only going to have the males. So they should be in our animal trade center or animal storage. Okay, so we're gonna want to send these to the quarantine. Does that include habitat or exhibit? Yes, I know we're working. On that. I will quickly pause the game while we make their enclosure 
So if we go back up to the Zoopedia and we go to the Pangolin, yes. Um, we're going to have three of them right now and hopefully we'll have a couple of children. So 246 meters, they don't need any water. Uh, they just need it to be two meters tall of walls. So I think it'll be good to go right about here. So we go into barriers, and I think glass is a nice way of doing it. So it's exactly two meters tall, and the strength of glass is three. So that'll work. So we can go ahead and just place these down and go. We'll go a little ways out. And then come back in. From the previous zoo, I learned that a lot of animals, you think they're a lot bigger than they are, so it kind of seems like you should be making it bigger than they really need it to be. Oh, let's get a door. That might help. That might help things. Oh, panel too short. That's not good. Well, then I guess we can just delete that barrier. Okay, that's all right. And so, I don't know exactly what they're gonna want, so I'll just put Chinese Pangolin. Oh yes, I actually spelled that right, otherwise, if I spell anything wrong in this, just let me know and I'll, I'll fix it. All right, so let's unpause the game. So we can get our pangolins through quarantine and get them into get them into uh, their enclosures. Where we'll then get to. I'm just gonna quickly edit the work zone to put in this as well. Okay, that's good. So. So now we're just gonna have to play a little bit of the waiting game for our pangolins to be ready uh, to get out of quarantine. Because see, right now they're all in quarantine, that means they're still... Because if we don't put them in quarantine, I could just put them right in the enclosure, but they might have a sickness or something, and then they could die. We don't want that to happen. And also, if you're wondering about these credits, uh, you get them from releasing animals to the labs, that's why you like want a male and a female, because then you get babies, they grow up, then you release them into the wild, which gives you credits and stuff. And so the pangolin is it, it's critically endangered, so the more endangered it is, the more credits you get from releasing them to the wild. And we're not gonna have any, uh, uh, I'm gonna speed up the time a little bit so we can get these. Alright, get through out of quarantine. So let's go back to normal speed. Because we don't want to rush through this game too quickly, do we? Oh, one more of them needs to finish. Alright, they're all ready to leave. All of you, we can move you. And then bring them right over there. And every animal likes different kinds of terrain. I doubt they'll, all, they'll like this long grass, but we'll be able to change that to like any of this stuff, even snow, but I doubt they want snow. Auto paint. Hmm. Interesting. Here come our pangolins. Look at them go. We're going to bring in our pangolins and we're going to get to have lots of fun. All right. Come on, buddy. Yep. Giant box. The box goes a little bit bigger. And look at our little pangolin guys. You always think they're gonna be bigger. Oh, we got a little inside problems. Oh no. We've created a hybrid pangolin. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Their terrain, they're not happy. They want pretty much all soil and a tiny bit of short grass. So, we'll go into terrain. The nice thing is we can see this, and we can do this menu. So, we'll do... I think we'll do light soil, and we'll just spread that around a bit. We need some short grass. Alright, there we go. 
Okay, so we'll put the heavy soil like out in here. And then we'll put some lighter soil in this way. We gotta get rid of all this long grass. But then we gotta bring back a tiny itty bit of short grass. And I'll add in just a little bit of rock. Because they are they like a little rock. And we'll just have a bit of sand. And if you have, any of you have tips about this game on how I can do better in it, then let me know. Alright, so another cool feature is that they want things from Asia that are tropical and temperate. So then it automatically puts in those filters for us. And we can see what they like or don't like. Ooh, azaleas. Let's see. Do they like the azaleas? Okay, it doesn't actually change anything for them. Okay, yeah, it's giving them a little tiny bit of stuff. So I'm gonna dot a couple of these around. I'm actually going to put this on random rotation so that they're not all facing the exact same direction. All right, so let's see if we can get some. Let's see, do they like the trees? Yes, they do like the trees. We can put in a couple of trees. How about this tree? You a fan of that? Yes, you do like that. You're gonna need a lot more black thorn bush. You like that? Okay, the, ins the inspectors give you basically ratings that can either increase your guests or decrease them. And so you really want to get a good review. Alright, so, oh, we still don't have nearly enough plants. They, oh, we can get cherry blossom trees. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, yes, they actually do like them. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, we're gonna put in a couple of these. But give it some nice color. Actually, what I think I'll do is I'm going to quickly go in and delete the other kinds of trees. And we're just gonna use cherry blossoms. Because I think it'll look really nice. Because cherry blossoms are just a very iconic tree from the area. Oh, look at these tiny little pangolins. It's so cute. Alright. Oh, enrichment. <sighs> I forgot about that. So, we need them to get researching on the pangolins so we can find out things about them. Oh. Oh, they need food. We gotta get them food. Never let me forget that. Ever. Species. Uh, the Chinese pangolin. So, seas. Chinese pangolin. Alright. Here we go. We need some water. We'll put in a water pipe here, and we'll put in a large food bowl for them. And so we'll call someone right now to get that fed. We'll call them for that urgently. And then let's just get back to the pangolin and ask than what they need. Uh, do, 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 do. Alright, so let's go back to these cherry blossom trees. Yes, okay. I want some of these big ones. Then we need some smaller ones as well. Okay, that's a good amount of trees. We're just barely in the area where they like the number of plants and everything. No, we don't want mangrove trees. That'll look weird.
reeds. Oh, we have these. Oh. We can plant. And then I suppose we could use a rock or two. Yeah, that's all right. You don't want too many rocks that it looks weird. We'll put in some of these. Just around. I like these. These are nice. They got any smaller ones? I believe in here somewhere we have some kind of bamboo or something. Hmm. I'm thinking, what else did we want? Oh, we could do the weeping willows, but I don't think they're gonna like that very much. Uh, I think that's pretty good when it comes to... Yeah, they, they really like the number that we have. They're they're pretty happy. We just need to get this enrichment problem figured out. It's because I've spent thirty one thousand dollars. Oof. Well, before I'm running out of money, we're gonna work on. We're gonna put in a, some marketing. So we can see if. Oh, yeah, see, that means we're increasing. We have. But, oh, Lord. We were up for just a second. Oh, yeah, now we're back up again. We're going up and down, over and over. Up and down, up and down. Well, for right now, we need to... Uh, we need to upgrade. It's basically their energy. Once they do stuff, eventually they'll get tired and go to the rest room. Like the guest. No, not the guest. Like their break room. And when they do that, if I click this arrow, that means they'll level up and do their jobs better. And so, like, the vet's research will go, like, 10 million times faster when they're five-star. And so we definitely want them to continue on that. We need to get this pangolin figured out, because we'll get some enrichment, and then we'll get better food for them. Well, we need to figure out some way to get more people in here. Well... Everybody, I, I think we're doing pretty well. So, I think I'm just gonna... You know what? Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna make a tiny, nice, little garden area. We'll just leave it on tropical. Yes, this is what I want. We're going to align this side with bamboo. Which I know it may sound very, like, a bad idea. Because of the fact that I already have little money. But trust me, guests like decorations, and so when you put them in, they get happy. See, that just looks better. Alright, so we finally completed some research, so we can put in some enrichment for these guys. So we can go into Habitat, the Chinese... We can go into their enrichment lines, and we got a ton, alright. Oh, we can put in a forage pit so they can, like, find little food piles and stuff. 
we can put in some boxes and balls for them to play with. The more, the better. Like, we can't have too many. We'll just try and get one of each. Ooh, a nice little sprinkler to keep them nice and cool. We'll put that over here. Uh, let's see. We can use this to bring them over here to kind of, like, show them off a little more. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We also need to get them a little... We'll put it over in the back here. We can give them a nice little place to call home. And we can give them some nice little leaves to sleep on. None of them are floating. Perfect. Now, let's see. Do they have mates? Yes! Oh, Bin Bin. That's a great name. I like Bin Bin. It's a good name. So that that they're mated, eventually they'll have... Right, did you see that? Low on cash. Why are we getting income of $18? Alright, I have a plan. We're going to increase the pricing a little bit. So we can make a little more money. It's ongoing. There are 135 people in the park. I should be getting tons of money. The expenses are only increasing. Well, hopefully we'll figure that out in episode two of this. So we can get this notification to go away. Yes, I understand. I tried to fix it with this marketing. Yeah, we're not going to renew that next year. That may be part of the problem. Maybe counting that into roads are expensive. Technically, at some point, I could take out a loan of $50,000 and we'd have to pay it back and about a pretty big interest rate, but... That is an option we could end up with. We're not losing that much. Wait, we're on the increase. Then we're on the decrease. Ooh. More people need to come. And pay for things. Was the penguin not the best choice of an animal? Oh, I know what the problem is. Oh, gosh. I always forget about this. The donation bins. These are so useful. It gives people the option to donate, and they donate tons of money. Like, I'm talking thousands. And so if we just line these around the area, we can get lots more money. Like, let's see. This one's already made $250. 210. 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. Like, people will just throw money in them constantly. Oh, you think you can escape? You think you can escape the donation bins? No one can escape the donation bins. Because if you see guests forming, you gotta put the, the donation bin right by them. So then they'll just start tossing money in. Overpriced? We'll put it at $5. And we'll put you at four dollars. Mm. On average, how long are people spending in the zoo? We're actually starting to profit slightly. We're barely profiting, but we are profiting. All right, we're gonna call the mechanic to the barrier status is not great. Oh look, the penguins—they're foraging. They're looking for their bugs and stuff. So I think these two are the ones that are mated. Yeah, this is Bin Bin. He's a good boy. 
His genetics aren't terrible. His immunity is pretty good. Fertility is not awful. Fertility just means we're going to get more... Babies. Which is a thing we very much want. So, um... I think that'll do it for this first episode of Planet Zoo, and just look at this. In this one zoo, we're gonna have all this space. See, that's the line. We're gonna have all- that's- that's all we've done. And we're gonna have all this space. It goes all the way- all the way out to here. That's tons of space. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to do in here. But, uh, I figured we just get enough set up that we're going to be okay for uh, the next episode. So we'll just, uh, I'll just sign off here and uh, see you guys next time. Yeah, and also if you all enjoyed watching me play this game, I, I think it's really fun. I just hope you all enjoyed it or are enjoying it as much as I do and just... See you next time. Bye.